Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review Pixel Experience Plus UI. So I'm kind of disappointed about this ROM. It's although it's a pure desktop ROM, but it's not that great actually. So let's go and see what we are getting with this ROM. So I have been using this ROM for two days now, and actually I have explored every bit of it, and it's not a great ROM actually. It's not a great ROM. I have seen better ROM from this. Okay, let's go and see our setting first. What we are getting with this ROM. So it's a latest version of um, the Android 13. As you can see, it's running on Android 13 and security patch level is November 5, 2022. It's a very recent build. So this is the last build of uh, our Pixel Experience Plus UI. So what difference between Pixel Experience Pixel Plus UI is that uh, there is a little bit tweak available on pixel plus ui what i'm going to show you here so if you go here in a status bar so you will get some features like where do you want to the clock position show controller and battery st status style battery percentage and other things so not much actually a little bit only i think it's enough i have no complaint about this kind of thing is a subtle feature is enough not not much but the main thing is that it doesn't have xiaomi parts option yeah uh, if you want skin burning uh, skin uh, burning screen burning issue to be solved you have to use some kind of tweaks to do that but all the roms other roms they put xiaomi parts option in their settings so it should not be uh, actually that difficult to uh, include it in this rom actually because all the roms are doing that so that the people can tweak their display settings and so so that the, because of that actually i was having this uh, screen burning issue so what i had to do is that I'm using now as you can see the display is kind of yellowish because I have I'm using night mode. If you use night mode, then you will not get a screen burning issue. It's it's uh tint the uh, a bit saturation maybe so so that you will not get any kind of screen burning issue. Rather than that, there is nothing new with this uh ROM. There is also issue with another thing is that so if I go to system and go to gesture, as you can see, quick tap to start action so if you double tap on the back of your phone then it should take a screenshot but as you can see I have, i'm tapping now it doesn't work rather than that like fingerprint is working just fine as you can see just click and come it's slow a bit but it's okay it's working fine there is no issue with that it can register all the time you will not have any issue with that there is no face is uh, like face unlock and other things it's it's not included here anything like that and another thing is that uh, the wi-fi hotspot option it has but it it, ha it has no like the band option so you cannot select any band it will just give you the 2.4 gigahertz band not 5 gigahertz also other than that another thing is that you can uh, change your notification panel and other things they have no issue with that you can change these things and come to the good point so the good point is that it's not that bad the smoothness is quite good but it's not like drift from i have already uh, reviewed if you haven't watched that actually you have you just um you should watch that video if you are uh, thinking to flash any android 13 based rom on your Redmi note 8 so it's the, the rom is you see is fluent there is no issue but it's not that like the rom i have already reviewed another thing is that it come with uh, Google camera go no MIY camera it's good actually this camera so it has like as you can see here it has your wide-angle camera lens and you, it has your I think uh, 2 megapixel that is um, depth camera also you can access you can access micro camera as you can see and you can access main camera so all the cameras you can access from this uh, this camera app so it's quite good actually so no issue with that and rather than that you can use other gcam like this so it's working as you can see gcams and other things are working so it comes with actually just uh, not much apps so as you can see because it's purely stock so it's come with less app just google apps and other things nothing more than that and i have restored all the apps from my previous phone so it does did work actually um all the apps just uh, restored properly there was no issue with that and battery backup is excellent actually it's not not worse than the rom i've already reviewed it's good there is no issue with all those things so um, main point is i don't think it's a rom you should go with 
because we have better ROM. If we have better ROM, why don't we use those ROM? So the if you want me to suggest you the ROM, I will still suggest Dreamfest ROM. You check the review and you 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 can judge it. Actually, it's quite good. But this ROM, um, I will not suggest you to install. But if you want to install this ROM, I will put the ROM link in the description below. You can download it from there, and you can explore it. There is nothing new actually. It's almost like uh, Android 12. If you are running Android 12 and if you are planning to update to Android 13, if you are considering this ROM, I think you should go in Drapfest. It's far better ROM from this ROM. And that's it for today actually. So there is nothing new actually. I'm, I'm totally bored about stock ROMs. I don't really like them anymore. But if you want smoothness in your ROM or daily task should be done in properly proper manner, then maybe you should go with stock ROMs. If you install any custom UI, then it will be a bit choppy uh, but still i heard that samsung ui is doing very well one way one ui but there is no custom rom like one ui custom rom for your redmi note 8 right now if i get one i will install it let's see how good is it but rather than that there is no issue with this rom too you just can install it and try it yourself so that's it for it for today thank you very much for watching and i will see. so please sub 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 sub